We've seen what the Evo can do in its proper environment, but what about in improper environments? Welcome to part two of whether or not a bigger rifle is better for accuracy and precision. And today we are rounding out last week's video on Towers Field at Bing. We are going to get right into gameplay, so if you haven't watched the first part, be sure to check that out through the info card above, or link is in the description so you guys can go watch that one to get an idea of how that went in comparison to this one. Now to get straight to business, I am positioned towards the back of the field, hoping to snag some incoming enemy players as they walk out of spawn from distance, and see how accurately and consistently I can do so. Our team has three total revives for the entire squad, so I'll have to be careful and not let enemies get a beat on me for too long or too quickly from my current position, as some of them do have some longer rifles that could potentially put it into my experiment a little sooner than anticipated. I didn't think I got this player during gameplay, as you guys can probably hear me saying to my teammate next to me, but after rewatching the scope cam a couple times, I did notice that I actually got a couple rounds to arc up into his upper chest, which he actually called, which is very respectful on his part. So we'll be going ahead and counting that as the total kill counter. I was trying to see if I could pluck one of them from distance, but I got nothing. They're dropping just a little bit in front of them. Or they're getting messed up by the reeds, one of the two. Probably. A combination of both. Probably. Oh, I got that dude. <laughs> Good hit, bud. Jeez, I got that dude right in the nose. I'm sorry, little dude. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it was going to arc up on him that much. Oh, that was horrible. But I love it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, little dude. I gotta reload, cover me! Ah. Yeah, I'm watching them. I'm trying to arc in on them, but I can't quite get there. Where are you getting from? <laughs> that cinder block. Which there's like uh, there's a few cinder blocks, my dude. Which one? Far to the left or far to the right? Uh, oh yeah, right there. I see. You. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nah, I don't I don't know which one of us got it. I'll put it up on my scope cam. Whoever got that. <laughs> this is mean. This wind is really helping this thing arc up on people. Oh, yeah. I cracked a dude, like, right here. I got him right in the nose. I could hear it crack his face. I'm like, oh, no, I'm so sorry. So I was trying to hit his body, but it arced up and hit him, in like, right in the face, like, right here. Yeah. So you know that hurt because you could hear it smack him. It's like, oh, oh no. I'm so sorry. Did you used to wear the Boy Scout numbers? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. 3.30? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, so sitting here is fun and all. I might move, though. Uh, no, he's dead. Okay, never mind. He did. I'll no one pushed right side, obviously, since Eddie's still up. Yeah, there. Eddie's still alive, so he's good. Is that a hostile? No, that's a friendly. Okay, he's pointing the other way. Cool, cool. Yeah, so he's pointing this way, so I'd imagine that's hostile. Or friendly, sorry. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I can't speak. Yeah, I need to eat no, something. That's Todd. Yeah, that's a friendly. I need to eat something. I have not eaten today, so that's my bad. You want those billies from inside the trailer? Mm. Kind of smack. I don't know, man. That sounds risky. That sounds real good. Don't get me wrong, but that sounds that risky. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, fire. Oh, 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 nope, nope. He's dead. There's another one that ran to the left. Where'd he go? Come back. Come back. Come back. Give me a beam. Beam me up, Scotty. All right, I'm going to shift to the left. They're not pushing right much. Ooh. 
Hopefully Eddie knows to move positions once he's done that. I don't know, he's looking to die and then come back and then be good. Oh, okay. That way he can safely rotate. You know, that, that makes sense, what? I get you. Yeah, no one's died yet. Yeah, we still got all three. Oh shit. Oh, huh? my people have died. Oh. Or no, those no, those are walk-ons. Yeah, those are walk-ons. We're good. We're chilling. See, the reeds make me nervous. Oh yeah, I'm seeing a lot of movement in the reeds. I'm moving this way. Spoon! What we got, brother? I'm seeing a lot of movement over here. Yeah, what we right got? Here. And I'm out of like close. They're really, they're in the bushes. Like right here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. But directly behind the spool. Just directly right behind the spool? Yeah. In that, in that shrubbery there. I'm gonna school. go say hi. We got a few mulligans still. I'm gonna say hi. Go Wish me it. luck, boys. <laughs> when they say they're close, they're close. And that is unfortunately the end of my run. I wasn't checking behind me as I thought that Spoon and Aerosol's preschool, who you guys saw here at this video, he was in there with Spoon when I was talking to him, uh, I did not realize that they had both been killed a little earlier in the round than I had. So I was not well, checking my six as diligently as I probably should have been. Yeah, it's and on my I back. got killed for it. So uh, hopefully you guys all enjoyed today's video. I'll yeah, be sure to you guys trying on the next to play one. with the Evo content so, is sure to be on the way. And be sure to let me know what you guys thought down in the oh, comments below of our little experiment for the last two weeks. Do you think the Evo outperformed what you expected for such a short barrel? Or do you think that it still was pretty subpar for what you would expect a longer rifle to do? Of course, as I've discussed in my reviews on some of my longer weapon systems, those ones do reach out a little further, a little more consistently. But I would say I was very happily surprised with how well the Evo did in using a long range sort of gameplay system. But if you guys disagree, let me know in the comments below. Or if you guys were like me and surprised by how well the Evo did, let me know that down below. We'll be getting some more Evo content very soon. But of course, we do have some more content with Airsoft Preschool, Spoon, and Brim Airsoft, who you guys have not seen, coming very, very soon as well. Also, if you guys haven't noticed, we're about 20-ish subscribers away from 1,000, which I have promised there is a special video coming out when we hit 1,000. That video, of course, being a full loadout lowdown on my usual kit, and I will be talking about all the stuff that I wear, all the stuff I use, and why I use it. 
So that'll give you guys an idea if you're brand new to the sport or looking for an upgrade or a change in your own kit, what I use and maybe something that you can use alongside what you already have or just something new for yourselves. As always though, this has been Wolf and I hope to see you guys next time I hit the field.